In this video, I will be going over the practice exam. On the first question, it asks us for the distance. So to find the distance, I am going to count how far down. So my triangle would go two and over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to plug that into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is the hypotenuse, which means the two and the seven are going to go in for a and b. Seven squared is 49 plus four equals c squared. 49 plus four is 53. To get rid of that power, we square root. So the distance is five, uh, the square root of 53. On number two, I count how far over one, up one, two, three, four, five. Plug those in, one squared plus five squared equals c squared. One plus 25 equals c squared. That's 26 equals c squared, and we add those together. Square root to get rid of the power. 26 breaks down to two times 13. There's no common, there's no doubles, so I cannot take it out. So the distance is the square root of 26. On number three, I'm going to check how far four is away from seven. Four, five, six, seven, that's three away. Negative four to eight, when they're opposite signs, I add them together, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and it went from a negative to a positive, which means it's increasing. I'm gonna plug that in for a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and that gives me nine plus 144 equals c squared. Nine plus 144 is 153. Square root them, 53 bakes down to 3 times 51, 3 times 3 times 17, 3's can leave, and the 17 is left inside the radical. 3 root 17 is our solution for the distance. On problem 4, negative 1 to 5, they're opposite signs, so I add them together, that's a 6, and because it went from negative to positive, it's increasing. Negative two to negative two, nothing happened. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 36 plus zero equals C squared. 36 equals C squared. Square root to get rid of that power. The square root of 36 is six and six. So our distance is six. On number five, find the midpoint. The distance is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I only want half of that. So half of seven is 3.5. So one, two, three and a half. This point right here would be negative 0.5 down one, two, three, four. Or negative one half comma negative four. You could choose if you want to write it as a decimal or a fraction. On number six, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Half of nine would be 4.5. One, two, three, four and a half. There's my dot. So then I would have to go over, so left 0 0.5, up 1, 2 and a half, or negative 1 half comma 2 and a half. Those are the midpoints, so they're in the middle of the segment. Problem 7. I have an endpoint and a midpoint. So I check 7 to 4. I'm going to be subtracting 11. I do it one more time. 
negative 4 minus 11 is negative 15. Then to find my y value, 5 to 7, I am adding 2, so I add 2 again, 7, 8, 9. My endpoint is negative 15, comma, 9. x to x, I'm subtracting 6. Then from negative 5 to the next endpoint, I subtract 6 again. Negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11. 5 to negative 8, opposite signs means I add them. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And because it went to a negative, it's decreasing. So I minus 13 again and get negative 21. Number nine. Find the midpoint of a line segment with the given end point. So if I'm trying to find the mid, that means middle is one half. So I'm going to find the distance like I did on the first examples. Negative 8 to 7 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 away. Positive 15. 8 to 7 would be minus a 1. That is the full distance between my two endpoints. I only want half of it. So half of 15, I'm going to have 7.5. Half of negative 1 is negative 0 0.5. Now when I add straight down from my first point, negative 8 plus 7.5 would equal negative 0 0.5. 8 minus 0 0.5 would give us 7.5. That is our midpoint. Let's try it again. 10 to 6, I'm subtracting 4. 4 to 3, I am adding a 1. This is the full distance. I'm going to take half of them. So when I take half of it, I'm going to have a negative 2 and a positive 0 0.5 as half the distance. So when I add straight down, 10 minus 2 is 8. And then negative 4 plus 0 0.5 is negative 3.5. And that is my midpoint. On number 11, we're going to use it the same way as the midpoint, but instead of taking a half of it, we're taking one third. So let's find the full distance. Oh, actually, let's try it another way. We're going to do it with the distance on top. So negative 2 to negative 2 would be plus 0. Negative 9 to negative 7 would be plus 2. This is the full distance. So I did the same thing I did on the midpoint. Now, instead of doing one half, I want one third of the distance. So I would type 0 times one third and get plus 0. I would type 2 times 1 third, and I would get, let's see, 0.7. So then when I add my point, that 1 third distance down, I would get negative 2, comma, negative 8, point 
three. As my point that is one third the distance from negative two comma negative twenty nine negative nine. All right, the full distance for number twelve is negative ten to negative four is adding six. Six to negative two is subtracting eight. That's the full distance. Now I only want one third the distance. So when I take one third of the distance, I'm going to have a positive two and a negative 2.67, let's round it, 2.7. When I add them down, negative 10 plus two is negative eight. Six minus 2.7 is going to be 3.3. And that is your, your point that's one third the distance. On problem 13, 5 to 2, you subtract 3, 9 to 5, you add 14. We're taking 3 fourths the distance on this one. So I would type times 3 fourths, which would give me a negative 2.25 and a positive 10.5. When I add them together, 5 minus 2.25 is 2.75. And when I add negative 9 plus 10.5, I get 1.5. Two to negative two, we're subtracting four. Ten to negative ten, we're subtracting twenty. I want three fourths of the distance, which means I'm going to subtract three and add fifteen. So then my solution will be two minus three, which is negative one. And 10 plus 15, which is 20. Oh, sorry, subtract. 15 would be negative 5. There we go. Negative 1, negative 5. On problem 15, I find the distance. 5 to 7 is adding 2. 1 to negative 7 is subtracting 8. That's the full distance. Now I want two thirds of that. So two times two thirds is going to be equal to 1.33. And then negative eight times two thirds is going to be equal to negative 5.8. When I add them up, 5 plus 1 is 6.33 comma, 1 minus 5.33 is negative 4.33. 16, negative 4 to 9, you're adding 13, negative 1, negative 6, we're subtracting 5. That's the full distance. I want two thirds the distance. So if I take two thirds of 13, I'm going to get 0.5. 